the dispatch room for day-old chicks at the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization is already empty. The chicks, after going through an incubation period of 22 days, have been dispatched to different regions from as early as 3 a.m. These are the Kroila chicken, also locally known as Kenyeji chicken, whose popularity in the country is growing by the day. The improved indigenous chicken was developed through selection of breeding from the various indigenous chicken found in Kenya. That, and there are so many, like we have the naked mech, we have the bearded, we have the normal feather chicken. Because in every area of Kenya there is a certain indigenous chicken specific to that area. Building a house for this chicken requires proper planning. The size of the house must be properly determined according to their number. And the ventilation has to be just right. Observe the condition of the litter. When it starts to take, you should remove it. When it becomes dusty, you should remove it. Because if you maintain a dusty, dusty, a dusty litter, then you are going to cause some respiratory problems to the hens. If it is cakey, it can cause some, some, some problem like oxybiosis, a managerial problem. These birds start laying eggs when they are five months old. The recommended ratio of the birds is usually one jogo to ten hens for best results. The eggs should be collected three times a day to prevent breakages. It is not a mass, it lays every day, but what you should do, you should keep records, yeah? That I can, because at least in the point, at the peak of lay, you should have over 85% of your flock lay. Yeah, so if you get, not, not in, a, in a particular day, they are the peak and you're not getting your 85%, then you should know there's something wrong with your birds. Croilers are resistant to most diseases, However, they must be vaccinated against the new castle and fallpox diseases, which are a threat to their existence. They should observe their birds and know they're normal for their normal. Not when your bird gets sick, I can be able to know my birds are sick because of one, two, and three, and I have observed the, uh, I know the, the normal signs from the, from the abnormal signs. So the, the, the trick is knowing the normal behavior of your birds, and that is why you should take time and spend the time in a poultry house. If your birds are sick, you need to separate, the, the isolate the sick ones from the healthy ones, and you need to start medication. But the first thing you need to know, what are they suffering from? You need to get a vet and able to do the diagnosis. Birds of different ages should not be mixed together. They should be debiked to prevent cannibalism and egg eating, which is common with enclosed birds. When you, you do debiking, do it before the point of lay, because if you do it when the birds are laying, you're going to cause stress to the birds and the production will go low. Because of disease control, don't combine birds of different ages. Because like for the, for the adult birds, they already had it. They have gone through their vaccinations. The young chicks may have not completed their vaccination and they are not hardy and, they, and, they, and, and that may cause some disease for the flock. You can lose the whole of your flock if you have mixed different ages of birds. Just like other types of chicken, the croilers require proper feeding and measurements can be determined by the farmer through observation while water, however, should be supplied all day long. For a local farmer, they usually have those tins that they know this is one kilogram tin. Yeah? But what you can do is something called like you challenge feed. Today I'll give my birds this amount of kilograms. Yeah? Then I'll see uh, in the evening, I'll see if I have food or not. If I see I don't have any food on my feeding truck, then I'll know that feed I gave to that bird was not enough. Yeah, so I can add the amount of feed there. When I get the feed the next day, then I know I have arrived at the, the right feeding. After about 68 weeks, the birds stop laying eggs, meaning it is time for new stock. There comes a time when your hens stop laying eggs before the 68th to 70th week. And at this point, your jogo may actually be the problem and you need to change it and get a younger one which is more active. Don't always blame the hen. Ruth Mutegi for Farm Talk at Calro in Naivasha.